The restoration period started in 1660. It was a period of uh, great celebration because the Stuart returned to power. The king was Charles II, Stuart. He was the son of the executed king. In this period, two important events took place. There were the plague in 1665 and the Great Fire of London in 1666. Moreover, a new complete cultural climate was introduced and uh, uh, reigned. There were liberalizing social changes, such as the reopening of theatres and new interests in music, arts and the science. 1660, the Royal Society for Science was established and uh, uh, 1675, uh, the Royal Observatory at Greenwich. Why? Do we call this period restoration? There was first the restoration of a parliament and second the restoration of the monarchy. And in 1673, the Test Act meant that any man in public office had to take communion in the Protestant Church and recognize the king as the head of the Church of England. In 16. 85, when Charles died with no legitimate heir, the Glorious Revolution started. It's called Glorious because it was bloodless. And uh, uh, let's see what happened. The brother of Charles II was James II. He was a Catholic king, but was initially popular until he had married a Catholic wife and uh, he had had a son that might have been the successor to the throne of England. This fact alarmed the anti-Catholic party composed by the Whigs, whereas the Royalist party was called Tories. James II had also another daughter, Mary Stuart, who had married William of Orange, a Dutch Protestant. They raised an army in, Lond in Holland and landed in England and ascended to the throne. But they were offered the throne upon certain conditions. That is, 1789 they had to sign the Bill of Rights, which limited the power of the king in favour of Parliament. In 1689, the Toleration Act, which gave dissenters freedom of worship of any religion. And 1791, the Act of Settlement, which established that only Protestants could be heirs to the throne. William definitely defeated James II in the Battle of Boyne in 1690. What happened was that William and Mary had no heir, and uh, Queen Anne, Mary's sister, came to the throne. There was the terrible war of Spanish succession in which England was allied with Holland and Prussia against France, Spain and Portugal. The Duke of Marlborough, John Churchill, uh, was uh, the leader of the British army and strengthened uh, Britain's position uh, um, when the war ended. In fact, Britain regained some possession, especially important, uh, so can a part of Canada, the Hudson Bay territories, and uh, the island of Minorca. In 77, 
there was the Act of Union. The Act of Union reinforced England's control over their rebellious neighbour and prevented Scotland from choosing to go back to the Stuart because uh, uh, with the Act of Union, Anne's reign, England and Scotland were united into the United Kingdom of Great Britain. And because the Act of Settlement in 71 had established that no crown would pass to the Protestant rulers, that the crown would, would pass to no Catholic, if Anne died without an heir, the throne would pass to the Protestant rulers of the family of Anhover, which were Anne's Protestant cousins. But this is another story and it's called Augustan Age. <laughs>